Welcome back guys. Today is Friday, January 14th, 2022. We're going to be starting this generator up. This is a 13,000 watt dual fuel, soon to be tri-fuel generator. Uh, today it's just going to be running on gas. We're going to be using the exhaust to preheat the air going into the gasifier, but just to keep things simple, I don't have the intake ready for this for wood gas yet, but that's coming. But today we're going to fire this up, run this for a while, use it for preheating our air, and we're going to try to run the gas fire, see how it goes. Hang in there. Okay, so the generator's running. We're going to be back feeding. I'll give you a shot of this. We've got 10 600 watt. DC 24 volt power supplies at the top that feed 10 grid tie inverters and through these kilowatt meters we are back feeding about 3,000 watts of power combined between those two legs and this panel here distributes this cord coming in is from the generator and each one of these breakers Right now I've got breakers one through six turned on and they're firing up six of those power supplies and running six of these grid tie inverters. So it's the preview of what we're doing while we're gonna be testing the gas and fire. So we're getting ready to dump some fuel in. We're gonna start with some real fine stuff, sort of fill up the bell on the bottom of the reduction zone. It's uh, about 4.56 p.m. Give you a shot of what some of this stuff looks like. It's real fine. I'm to dump some in here. So now we have some charcoal pellets. We'll add some of that. See how much is in there. You can see that's just the fine stuff at the bottom. That's where you can see that. So you can see what we're going to start up on here. Just a little bit of charcoal. So we're starting out 507 here. We just lit it. You can see our ambient air temperature is 34 degrees. And down the list, you can see all our temperatures throughout the system. And we have uh, 40 inches of water in a vacuum just warming it up on each side. So we're going to go just give you a quick shot, quick tour of this thing. We also have a data logging screen here. So you can see the different colors that were on the previous screen are represented with the dots above it. The red one's going to be our heart temperature. We're already up to 200 degrees on that. It's going to take a timestamp every 30 seconds or so. And uh, I'll go and I'll show you some other screens here real quick. We got our, we enable our ash grate shaker and we could shake it manually. Or we could do it with the timers in the program, just leaving it enabled. We also have a hopper vibrator. Right now I'm going to leave that disabled, but I could do that manually. You know, I'll just do it quick just to show you. And I'll leave that switch off over here. Uh, so for now we're just going to let it warm up. Uh, maybe we'll take a quick walk out here and see if it'll light off. it up for a little bit and then maybe we'll turn over there to that guy and run that generator for a little while after we run the filter flare. Just so you know, just for the record, this is the unfiltered side still, but again, we're only running charcoal in there, so 
we'll be adding a mixture of 50-50 pellets and, wood and uh, charcoal pellets after we warm up the system. Our thermal couple, our heart temperature is at 700 degrees. Still warming it up. Still flaring off. One more thing I thought I'd throw in here. This is the air intake. It's preheated from the engine exhaust from the generator running outside. You see we're up over 150 degrees. And also, I might might be worth pointing out that a lot of these pipes aren't even insulated, so that number will come up significantly once I get those pipes insulated. <laughs> That's safe now. Fifty fifty bar full of pellets. Start with that. Probably about five pounds or so. So I just wanted to do some screen recording here to show you guys this app that I have. It's called Sense Energy Monitor. It's gonna tell you what's running in my house plus how much solar I'm producing. And as you know, it's already dark out here. You've seen some footage of the flare going off, so it's not solar. We're actually just running a generator outside and using the grid ties, but just to give you an idea, I can keep track of all that stuff. I can also do like a real-time, uh, pinch this down so you can see when I started running the generator. So right now it is, let's see, let's see uh, 5.45 p.m. we started the generator here at 4.30 and you can see this is where the solar was trailing off for the, for the day. I have a lot of my panels covered with snow right now so I'm not really producing a lot at this time of the year especially without crawling up there clearing panels off. It ain't worth it. So I just thought I'd throw this in there also. This is my solar array. I have 31 315 watt panels and you can see which ones the darker ones are the ones that didn't produce anything today. Um, the lighter ones are the ones that are more clear from the snow that we've gotten lately and the ice but it's not worth going up there to clear them but I just thought I'd throw that in here. This is the end phase app and I won't go through the whole thing but just to show you that there's some solar coming in here. So this will be our first filtered flare of 2022.
All right, so we're at 820 20 some degrees for the hard temperature. We're going to go to our data logging screen, and since we have some data here, we'll do some entries. You can see we're up and down a little bit depending on when it shakes. 822. And they're all time stamped on the left, like when it happened. So, Let's see, 874. We were up to 910 at one point. Let me go by the screen here so I can capture time. Record a couple screens worth of data. About it will be started to see 32 degrees. As much as I don't want to blow this flame out here. to try to run this generator so Start to see some smoke coming out of the filter there. That's good. That just means the line's primed with wood gas. I'm going to run inside quick and turn the blower off. I only have two inverters running right now, making about 900 and some watts. But we're running on wood gas. What's our hard temperature? So it's 622, the engine's still running. We're producing, quote, 948 solar watts, end quote. Uh, generator seems to like running here. The hard temperature's doing good. The pressure's definitely different, what we're seeing on the pressures, from what we were seeing with the blower. But we're getting some chair time, we're learning. Just checking back in, we're producing 1300 watts, strictly on wood. You can hear the generator running in the background, that's just running on wood. So we're producing 1400 watts on wood. You see the generator's been running since about 614. And before that I had the bigger generator running. I shut that off at about 548. We started that up at... about 430 so just to give you an idea how much power we've been running I can make up to 5,000 watts that little generator outside is only a 5,000 watt generator you can't expect to get more than 2,500 watts out of it but it seems to like to run right here so we're gonna leave it alone let things work for a while and see how it goes so we're at 830 degrees on a heart two inches of water on the pre filter seven inches of water on the post filter. I'm gonna go to our data logging screen here. You can see the red is our heart temperature. I actually just shook it so it's coming down a little bit, but 
you can see, we'll record a couple screenshots here. Sometimes we're up over a thousand degrees. Sometimes we're back down into the 800s, depending on what it's doing here. Just want to record some of this data. strong for over an hour, making about 1,400 watts. Still making about 1,400 watts. Generator's running over an hour now. Uh, we had a few hiccups with it, but it stayed running all the time. It just the power, some of the power inverters dropped out, and then they came back up. So we're just taking a look at, one, at our numbers one last time. Hearth temperature's down to 400 degrees. I didn't want to run it anymore. I don't want to make any tar. But at least it breathed good through the end. Back to about 632.